Okay, I have been building microphones from, from as simple as things as possible, and so today we are going to build, I am going to build a ribbon microphone. So there's a little bit of glare there, so let me hold this up and tell you how it works. So suppose I had some, uh, some wire like this, and I move that wire through a magnetic field. In that case, now there's some physics going on here, but if there's positive and negative charges in that wire because it's an electric conductor, and if the magnetic field is going into the board like that and the wire moves this way, then the positive charge will be pushed that way, negative charge will be pushed that way. Now I have a potential difference, I have charge difference, so I have a voltage. So the voltage on here depends on the length of the wire, the magnetic field, and the velocity, and that's the key. So if I can move this back and forth with just my voice, right, with the air pushing this, then that the voltage across here will be dependent on the velocity, and I can use that as a, as a microphone, right, because the microphone has a changing voltage that changes with uh, frequency, and and that's, that's how you make a microphone. Okay, so if you want, you could think of this in terms of Faraday's law. Some people like to do it in terms of Faraday's law. So again, I have the same magnetic field, but now imagine that this is some region that the magnetic field is in. There's no magnetic field over there. And as I move it this way, I increase the area through which that magnetic field is in, and so I increase the flux. So a change in magnetic flux divided by a change in time is also a way to produce the voltage. These two things are the same idea. So that's the thing. We're gonna have a, a metal conductor moving in a magnetic field. That's really it. Now, you may say, well, we already did that. This, I, I made a microphone, I don't, have it, I don't have it right now. This is a speaker, but it does the same thing. Uh, it has a coil of wire and a magnet, and when the magnet uh, is pushed into the coil of wire, it, it induces a change in magnetic flux, and so you get a voltage that way too. And so it's the same thing, it's just, it's a little bit different. They're di they have different responses uh, frequency responses and so forth. Okay, so I am going to start off with this magnet. You need a good magnet. This is a, a neodymium magnet. Um, I got this. Uh, it's it's not too it's not too uh, expensive. You can get them for like eleven dollars. But you can see, oh, it's pretty pretty strong magnet. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use this. I built a little Lego stand and I cut out a piece of aluminum foil. This is gonna be my ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here, and then I'm gonna use some Lego pieces to hold it down. This actually works pretty well. Like that. And I'm gonna put another Lego piece right here. So that's my ribbon. And that's what's gonna move when I talk. Now I'm gonna put this right here, and this right here. So it's on side. So this is going to move up and down, and the magnetic field is going this way. And you could try different. You could try putting it on the bottom if you want, and, and maybe we'll do that in a little bit. But I think I think this is how I got it to work before. Now I need to hook this up to a recorder. I'm going to use this website I found, um, sciencemusic.org. Put a link down below. It's super. It's super great. Okay, it's super great. Uh, here, in order to do that, I need to hook up this to my computer. So I took. I took an earphone, uh, this is actually a speaker cable, and then I cut the ends off. And there are two channels. Uh, there's a, um, there's the two, the red and the white are different channels, uh, but I tied them together because I only have a mono microphone, so I only want one channel. So those two are tied together just to give it a little bit better signal. And then I'm going to plug this end into my computer. You might need some type of uh, adapter in order to get that to work. Now let's try just hooking this straight to that. And, and I, in the past it didn't, this wasn't good enough, but we'll try it. Okay, so I'm going to take this. If you get some of these uh, little alligator clip wires, it's just going to help your, your life out quite a bit. That one there, and I'm going to hook it to one side. And I'm going to take another one, another wire, hook it from here. other side and my my aluminum broken a little bit let's take a look right there okay so now let's just go over here to this microphone thing uh, and see if it's recording uh, let me just double check that it's on the right USB input okay record 
Okay, so I'm recording. I'm just going to touch it. See if I get anything. I don't see, I'm not getting anything. Okay, let's just, let's just stop. Uh, let's increase the amplitude and record. See if I get anything. Okay, so it, it's not, it's not giving me anything. Um, so we need to get a higher voltage out of this. And we can do that with this. This is an audio transformer. Let me show you actually where I got it from. So this is your basic computer speaker, old computer speaker. If you take the screws out, you can see the audio transformer in there. It actually, it fell off. No, it's not a screw in. That's exactly what I'm using. Okay. So the idea is it's really just a two coils of wire. Here's one coil of wire, and it's wrapped around some metal in there. And then here's another coil of wire wrapped around the same thing. And when I have a, uh, a, a changing voltage going through here actually changing current induces a changing voltage on here but depending on which how many wires are wrapped around each one you can get an increase in voltage uh, so this I'm going to hook up to here the dangers of working with magnets see oh man now tore my thing okay let's just leave that off for now so I'm going to hook it up to the transformer. And then from the transformer to that. And so in this case, I don't even actually need to use wires. I'm just going to use these little clips and clip it on there. OK, and then I got another little clip. And you don't want these two sets of wires to touch or all short. Okay, and then I need to connect this back over here. Okay, and then I want that close. Okay, let's try it again. Record, tap, tap, tap. I'm not getting anything. I'm really kind of disappointed because this was working before. Test. No. Oh, you know what? Let's see, let me just reload this page. Okay, that's working now. Okay, great. So let's stop <clears throat> that and delete it. Start again. I'm going to record my voice. Hello, this is my voice. And I'm going to highlight that region and play it. That actually worked really well. I'm really, I'm really surprised. Let's turn that up so maybe you can hear it. That's up all the way. We can change the increase the amplitude. Hello, this is my voice. Okay. I did it. I can't believe I did it. Okay. Let's do it again, because you might not have one of these magnets, so let's put that aside. I want to try a different one. I'm not sure that it'll work. This is, um, these are two magnets that I got out of a hard drive, and so they're really strong. Now, I, I, I want to keep them apart so I can fit a ribbon in between there. So let's just take this. If it doesn't work, that already works. So, and I'm going to separate them with a Lego piece. These are really tough. I try to use bigger Legos because, okay, so get these apart. They really stuck. Okay, so I'm just going to try setting it on here like this. So let's put this piece right here. Let's put this piece. And then let's put this piece right here. And let's put this piece right here. Now I'm going to slowly set this on top. There. 
Okay, now the, this, the, the magnet itself is holding it together. And now I'm going to run my ribbon between these two pieces. So let's, let's cut a piece. I want it super thin. And then I'm gonna make another one that I don't know if it'll work. But, you know, what the heck. Now I don't want this to touch the magnets, right? It can't touch the magnets. So that should be, ooh, look at that. Okay, so now I have this. Now I'm gonna hold it down. I can hold it down with a, a Lego piece. I need another one over here. Um, I thought I should be prepared. Here. If this works, I'm going to be so excited. Okay. So now I just need to take my wires from here to there. From here to there. And let's delete what we had over here and record. This is a test. It didn't work. Oh, it did work. Okay, so it, it's... Hello, this is my board. That was my, that was my old one. Okay, let's delete that. Delete the whole thing. Record again. This is a test. And I think I got something in there. Yeah, so I shouldn't have picked it up. So let's delete all that. Let's delete the whole thing. And record without picking it up. I'm actually going to put it right here. Okay, there. I won't touch it. Record. This is a test with the micro with the hard drive thing. Let's amplify that. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, I think that works. I'm gonna say works. Okay, and now, how do you get these? Um, like I said, I got these out of a magnetic hard drive. I have another video where I take apart a hard drive, and I'll include that down below.